there has never been a medical reason for criminalizing marijuana. I, I, I looked through the history of this if you're interested. I don't know if you want me to run through it, but it's an interesting history. Uh, marijuana, marijuana was criminalized to very commonly. Uh, substances are criminalized because they're associated with what were called the, which are called the dangerous classes, you know, poor people or working people. So, for example, in England in the 19th century, uh, there was a period when gin was criminalized and whiskey wasn't, because gin is what poor people drink. That's kind of like the sentencing for crack and powder. You know. uh, when in the early stages of prohibition in the United States. Uh, one of the targets was immigrant, immigrant workers. You know, these guys hanging around the saloons in New York. Got to go after them. Um, the rich guys in upstate New York, they're going to drink no matter what. You know, if they want to come home after work, they'll drink. But go after those guys. What about marijuana? The marijuana was brought in by Mexicans. Uh, and the first criminalization of marijuana was in the southwest, in the states. It was in uh, New Mexico, later Utah, and so on. And it was specifically targeted against Mexicans. Uh, it didn't get criminalized in the United States until shortly after Prohibition ended. <coughs> after Prohibition ended, we had this huge Bureau of Narcotics, and they had to do something. Uh, so they discovered you know, that marijuana is going to do all kind of horrible things to you. The Senate testimony about this is mind-boggling. Uh, there was the, there was, they did have a, a representative of the American Medical Association who said, we don't have any medical evidence about him, about this. He was shut up, denounced, you know, rid of him right away. Uh, then they found somebody else. This, this is literally true. They found a pharmacologist, the guy teaching at Temple University, uh, who was using, mar who was doing experiments with marijuana and dogs. Okay. And they brought this guy in to test. The testimony is hilarious. You, know? <laughs> you really have to read it. They brought this guy in. He testified that when he gave marijuana, the dogs, they went insane, you know, they do all kind of things. Uh, and then the, uh, some senator or somebody asked him, this is from memory, so it's probably a little off, but something like this, uh, in the 30s, they asked the guy, well, have you ever tried marijuana on humans? So he said, yeah, I tried it on himself. And he said, well, what happened? He said, I turned into a vulture. I started flying around the room, you know. <laughs> so they, uh, so, oh my God, this stuff is terrible, it makes people insane. And uh, marijuana, it was declared by Congress that marijuana makes people insane. But then something happened. It turned out that lawyers, defense lawyers, got the idea, okay, I can use this for an insanity defense. So if a guy was found, you know, who killed three cops, uh, his lawyer would say, well, you know, he had, a, he had marijuana before, so he was insane, so he can't do anything. And people were getting off on uh, charges, you know, like cop killing, for example, uh, be on the on the claim that they had marijuana. So all of a sudden it was discovered that marijuana doesn't make you insane. Congress decided, sorry, it doesn't make you insane because we want to wipe that out. Uh, the next idea was marijuana is an entry drug. It's the drug you take and then you go on to something else. Well, there was never any evidence for that, uh, but that was decided. And then in the early 50s, something else happened. Marijuana is being brought in here by red Chinese to poison the American population and destroy us, you know. So therefore, we've got to stop marijuana. And it kind of goes on like this. Actually, the peak of marijuana use was, as I said, in the 70s. But that was rich kids, so you don't throw them in jail. You know? And then it got seriously criminalized. You know, you, you really throw people in jail for it when it was poor people. I mean, that's roughly the history. The detailed history is quite interesting.